Hey guys, welcome. So if you jumped into this video, then I'm assuming that you are looking for a profile which does not require 9 to 5 coding with your engineering degree. And also, if I am correct, then please press thumbs up because in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the profile in a big, big organization which does not require or requires only minimal coding skills with your engineering degree. Before jumping into this video, let me introduce myself to those who are new to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Amita Singh. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed it yet, then I will highly recommend you to please press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the notification of my all new or upcoming videos. So guys, today we are going to talk about the opportunity or the profile in a big, big organization which does not or which require only minimal coding skills. Let's get started. So the first profile is, yeah, in our development team, we have a profile called DevOps. DevOps engineer. They are also engineering graduate in any field and they do not require much of coding or Java or that C, C++ Java. They do not need such kind of coding skills and of such level. They use mostly they use scripting languages. And we also call, call that uh, profile the infra or DevOps. And that profile is very rapid rate in the industry, in the IT industry. And if, you, if I talk about the salary, they are also getting such a huge salary in the market. And yeah, it is a great opportunity. You can do DevOps, you can do certification in DevOps or you can uh, you now i'm just talking about the brief intro about devops that's all because if you want to know more about the devops engineering what they do either you can google it out or you can watch some other content uh, or i can make a video on that if you want you can post your question in the comment section and i will try to make a video on that so the first option is devops the second option the second option is salesforce developer Salesforce are also a category of developer. They are also a software developer, I can say, yes. They are also a developer category people who does not require much coding skills because they work on tools for the CRM. CRM means customer request management. And they do not require much coding skills. They need only basic understanding in language or they play around with the business requirement and they you know, meet their requirements. That's how. So those who have basic knowledge in coding skills, they can do, you know, Salesforce certification. There are so many certifications, so many levels of certifications are available in Salesforce. If you are a fresher or looking for a job which does not require much coding, then Salesforce is an option for you. You can start your certification, do training in that. Don't directly jump into some YouTube videos or some other videos. First, get an idea what they do. Then after doing the background verification, then think about some certification or training in Salesforce. Now the third option is SAP. Guys, if you have a good problem solving skills and if you have a good decision making skills, you make decision very fast or business skills, then SAP is an option for you. Because here you require only basic of any programming language because they deal more with the business than the development. They develop, means the developer do only 10% of development and 90% of business, thinking about the business and strategy. So those who want some profile like that they can go for sap and take sap certification you can do sap training sap certification but yeah first research about the sap then look for the training or the other opportunity to do the certification research about that the fourth option you can do mba or executive mba now while suppose you are hired as a software engineer and you are not much, much interested in coding, then maybe gain two years of experience. After getting two years of experience, you can go for executive MBA. 
why i am telling suppose you are not confident that you will clear cat then executive mba is for you because executive mba will give you an opportunity to do mba from your uh, organization and that is maybe uh, they free of cost in some organization and some organization they give huge amount for your for you know you know your mba program so you can do that in the executive and in executive the the good thing about executive is you need to go for gmat if you are planning to do mba in iim or the big big uh, you know business school but if you are looking if you are happy with uh, maybe symbiosis symbiosis is also good for executive mba they do not require any sort of a uh, competitive test they only look for an interview nims you can go for nims or there are many option if you want a separate video and on executive mba what are the those uh, school business schools which does not require any test or what are their you know minimum year of experience what they need if you want that i can make a video on that you can post your question in the comment section if you need this now either executive mba or if you have a good problem solving skills analytics skills and you can crack cat then go for mba you can uh, you can prepare for your cat while working and you can take the cat exam and switch your domain completely from technical to management so these are the four option which i thought i should share with with you those who are struggling with the code no need to struggle with the code i am only i am just only giving you four option but there are a lot of option available on the internet if you try to search rather than how to improve coding skills instead of searching that just look for other option where you can get something you cannot you know you will not be than average or below average in that rush or in that crowd you will be maybe you will be somewhere else because of your problem solving skills or critical thinking skills if you have that then don't waste your time if you are struggling a lot and you have struggled a lot for an years or years then try to make a switch i will tell you one thing guys what happens if you are taking any skills whether it's coding skills non technical skills technical skills if you are suppose today you are an average coder today you are an average in business if you will not make a transition or a move to step up then you cannot be master in anything so start taking risk and start shifting your gears step up that's how you can you can grow in any industry so that this is the only formula you can do and why today's people are failing in you know becoming a good coder is because they are practicing the same way each and every time and expecting a different result all the time so hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful for you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet thank you guys thank you for watching